Take key with the fuck up, nigga. Okay, dann gehen wir uns kurz Don Tolliver und dann geht's wieder zurück nach Lia Santos. I'm out froze right now, I ain't gonna lie to you. I can't really. I'm trying to figure it out. Künstler. Oh my God. Don Tolliver is more or less the valedictorian of the Travis Scott School of Hip Hop. His feature on Can't Say, off the chart topping Astroworld, held catapult this man to the. Immer noch bis heute tatsächlich Nummer 1 Hit. Und der Grund, warum ich überhaupt auf Don Tolliver gekommen ist, deswegen muss ich Travis Habibi danken. Can't Say, absolutes Brett. Ich habe wirklich ein Jahr lang komplett rauf und runter gehört, Digga. Ohne Spaß. Very top of the mainstream. But to suggest that Tolliver's success was wholly contingent on his association with Scott is to do this promising young artist a great disservice. Scott may have opened some doors for the man after signing him to his Cactus Jack label, but it was Tolliver who put in the work since day one to earn this opportunity. Tolliver has emptied his blood, sweat, and tears into his craft from the time he was just a teenager, and few kids his age can say that they hustled half as hard as he did. Want to learn how he transformed himself into one of hip hop's most promising stars? Then keep watching. Watching this brand new episode of Before They Were Famous. I wanted to do something different. I'm a Gemini and I wanted to go about it a different way. So I wanted the heaven and hell vibes, you know. I feel like some points in my life I'm up, some points in my life I'm down, sometimes I'm happy, sometimes I'm sad, and all type of list of other things. A lot of duality in the music. Don Tolliver was born Caleb Zachary Tolliver on June 12, 1994 Caleb. in Houston, Texas. Now, why was this day so important? Well, it was the same day that his hometown Houston Rockets took a 2-1 series lead over the New York Knicks on their way to earning the city's first NBA championship thanks to an impressive shot from clutch shooter Big Shot Robert Ory. I mean, being from Houston, that's practically like being born on November 18th. And if you think this moment has been lost on Don himself, we'll think again. Even though he was only moments old when this shot went down, he would later open his debut studio album, Heaven or Hell, yeah. with this line. Sad story, if I had to shoot him, bet it's Robert Ory. So yeah, you could say that Houston is in Don Tolliver's blood. Growing up with his loving parents, Carla and Bongo, Don lived a very normal childhood, fishing trips with dad, procrastinating on doing his chores to take off mom, and listening to the sounds of Swisha House artists like Mike Jones and Paul Wall. The reason why these guys in particular were on repeat in his family home was because Don's father once made a handful of appearances on a 2000 album from Swisha House artist Archie Lee. The song Swang Wide even features him on the hook. In other words, singing has been in Tolliver's DNA since day right. one, thanks to his dear old pops. But one song in particular held the biggest impact on Tolliver's music career, Don Kennedy's Locals Only. Don told Complex, That's what turned me into Don Tolliver. I heard Locals Only, and there was something about that record. Bro, I just felt like I was on a journey, and I didn't even know it. Musically, I don't know who I could compare myself to musically, but the vibe I kind of like picked up from was crazy was Don Kennedy. Making the conscious decision to take after his pops, Kate Don Kishman. began tinkering with music himself when he was entering the latter half of his teenage years. His first song he ever wrote was called I'm in the Building and he recorded it all on his PlayStation Eye camera, which became his go-to recording method of choice all throughout high school. Speaking of high school, Tolliver attended Hastings High School camera. where he was decidedly not one of the popular kids, at least not at first. But as he began to work more and more at music, he gradually began to win over his classmates. His best friend at the time was a dude named Josh, and together these two teamed up and formed a group called Play of Familia. Josh owned a bunch of proper studio equipment, so these two youngsters each took on a rap name, with Josh becoming Young Josh 93, and Tolliver simply becoming Love Don. It. Next, these two began to hip up local showcases to refine their talent, including a popular local festival known as Houston. As they worked on refining their sound, Josh and Don recognized something somewhat surprising. Don was better at singing than he was rapping. And from that day forward, Don locked in the melodies and spent the next few years practicing this new aspect of his craft. A short time later, in the spring of 2017, Josh drove 30 hours from Houston to New York City where he managed to talk his way onto The Breakfast Club to let him on air and drop a freestyle. You gotta be persistent to get yourself into The Breakfast Club. They don't play over there. Man, these boys just Steve Urkel, they just silly actors. And I got the West with me like Kim Kardashian, trapped out, trapped in. I get them sacks out in Paxi and I get that paper like a napkin, but I ain't trying to see no pen. Er. Flash forward a few months, and these two were finally ready to release their first Play of Familia mixtape. They saved up as much money as they could and then hit the road to NYC Alter. once again, where they hustled to get their music in the hands of Den every music noch nie that they could find. Please pop that. Don Tolliver, Young John 93. Hey, stop handing. 
By the time winter rolled around, Don was releasing some Los of his first digger. solo tracks, I Gotta, and Diva, which quickly began to earn him Diva. a lot of attention. Jeez. Once he was back in Houston, Diva he hit the, the clubs with a renewed purpose. Because if you're doing Houston clubs, you kind of got to have a purpose. You know, Houston clubs, a place full of purpose. I mean, seriously, my man was everywhere, and he gave Complex a taste of his itinerary at the time, telling them, I was at one club from 10 p.m. until 12 o'clock. I was at another from 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock. And then I would stop in a little bar and DJ from 1 to 2. Then I might be at one strip club, and if I wanted to go crazy, I might go to one more. Yeah, Don Tolliver be outside. The side God effect damn. though, play a familia began to fall by the wayside. And by that point, Don Tolliver was on too much of a roll to look back. He signed OG Houston legend Chetta to connect as his manager and then secured a contract with Atlantic Records. Soon after, he began to receive invites from other talented hip hop artists to feature on their projects, including being flown to Hawaii to take part in fellow Houston native Travis Scott's Astro War. Don's <laughs> sessions with Travis in Hawaii. Krank, Digga. Stell mal vor, du kriegst Einladung von Travis nach Hawaii, Digga. Were the stuff that legends are made of. And after getting a taste of what Don was all about on the feature Can't Say, Travis signed Don the Cactus Jack imprint as quickly as he possibly could. Just the fact that he called me for that trip, period. Like, like I'm, if nothing else had worked out, you would have been like, yo, we got called out to Hawaii to work with Travis. Simple. You know, he actually heard my music. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. I was actually there, you know, in the mix with him. Like, that right there was enough. So when I got on the album, oh my. What was that day like, the day Astro World oh, dropped? God, man, it was heaven Bruh. on earth. Since then, Don has gone on to release his Bobby Womack homage mixtape, Donnie Womack, as well as an extremely memorable feature on Eminem's No Regret. Next, his track on No Idea would begin to go viral on TikTok with millions of individual videos using that song as the background and soundtrack, which would lead to singles to peaking at number 43 on the Billboard Top 100 charts. By March of 2020, Don was ready to... Cause I had no feel like I did too much. Digga, wie sich die Menschen da gefühlt haben. Und released his debut studio album, Heaven or Hell, which dropped at the seventh spot on the Billboard 200 charts and set the table for his next album, 2021's Life of a Dawn, an album that includes singles like Drugs and Hella Melodies featuring his new girlfriend, Kali Yukis. Considering Brett. Don's journey in the world of music kicked off only about a decade ago and that he had no real formal no. training to speak of, it's pretty remarkable what this young man has been able to accomplish so far. Now he's one of the biggest names in the game and someone that everyone wants to work with. So I guess living the life of a Don is most definitely more heaven than it is hell. Sorry, I just had to. As for where Don goes next, well, that's a story for another time and another place. After all, this is before they were famous. My name is Clyde Smith, and if you enjoyed this video, please take a moment to like, subscribe, and share, and I'll catch you guys on another video. Like. Ooh.